How does feeling like royalty sound to you? What about surrounding yourself with your best girls for an afternoon of gown try-ons? Sounds fun to me. <laughs> Welcome to Style to Wed, where we answer all of your wedding dress shopping questions and have fun while doing it. I'm Sydney Sadik, bride-to-be, entertainment and style expert, founder and editor-in-chief of Spotlight Magazine, and author of Aim High. I'm here with the beautiful Natalie and Jessica of Wedding Bells in Arizona, and we're about to break down the dress shopping experience that every bride deserves. I am Natalie Lester. I'm the owner of Wedding Bells Bridal Boutique located in Chandler, Arizona. We've been in business since 2011, so going on 13 years now. I started Wedding Bells with my own love story. I was a newlywed and I was turning 30. I love people, I love brides, I love making them feel beautiful and so to be able to do that every day um, is truly a dream and it is my ultimate passion in life. My name is Jessica Poss. I work as a bridal stylist at Wedding Bells in Arizona and I have been a bridal stylist for around three years now. I think my favorite part about being a stylist is really taking a vision that is so unique to every bride and making it come to life on their wedding day. My number one tip for a bride would have to be be certain in your decisions. I recently got married this past year and I think I needed to be a little more um, certain in all of the decisions that I made so I could really enjoy it on my wedding day. I'm going to start with some fun trivia that has come right from my own experience. Natalie, I can tell that you are ready. <laughs> so let's get right to it, you guys. Which of these do you believe to be true? The in-store bridal experience is special because A, you are guaranteed to find your dress. B, you will be treated like a goddess. C, you will work with a stylist who wants to fulfill your dream look. Which one is it? All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> we needed that. We needed that letter on there. What about you, Jessica? What do you think? Yes, I say every single one. And Natalie, I want to hear more about the beginning to end experience that takes place at Wedding Bells. Tell us about it. So once we bring them in and sit them down and give them that glass of champagne, which ours is a yummy, one-of-a-kind peach champagne. Ooh, <laughs> great way to start. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, once her stylist comes over, they'll ask for like a vision board, a Pinterest board. And there'll be a series of questions just to get to know the bride, to understand what her dream wedding looks like, you know, has she been shopping, what are some favorite things she's tried on if she hasn't. So that way when it's time to find the one and she feels confident that she's tried so many different things on. How many dresses on average are we talking? I would say it ranges. Yeah. I would say around, I like to put my brides in 10. I think you get a bigger variety of what's out there. And then what is that dynamic like between the stylist and the customer when she kind of feels like, okay, this might be the dress, that bride has that feeling that they might have found the winner? Oh, we can tell. <laughs> Her whole body language changes. I mean, she's smiling from ear to ear. Um, she is nervous. Say she's a little confused. Say she has a couple favorites and we try to go grab her a veil that matches, bring her a beautiful bouquet. We just really want to create that full circle um, vision for her, so that way she'll know with beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is her dress. And I've heard there's a special little walk that <laughs> this bride is. will take. Tell us about this. In our store, we have a special area that we walk them down, like she was saying. You know, we have flowers hanging from the wall, draping of curtains, beautiful music that's playing. We really want to set the tone for the bride, and we really want her to feel this magical feeling. Um, that she'll hopefully have forever in her life. It sounds like magic and it also sounds like a preview to walking down the aisle, so. <laughs> that's that's the goal. It's a princess experience like no other and you bring that to everybody through your Wedding Bells location. If there's one like comment or takeaway that you feel your brides say and have when they come into your store, what do you typically hear after their first experience at Wedding Bells? Good question. Um, I feel that brides are nervous. They're always worried a little bit. And once they have their experience with us, I think those nerves start to relax. They start to feel comfortable. And they always say that they feel so beautiful, that wedding dresses are so fun to try on. And, and once we get them out of their head and, and off those nerves, they just, they just enjoy the whole experience. Not only does an in-store experience fill you with the magic that you, Natalie, just described, but in most cases, it also supports small businesses, which feels very important. 
Natalie, how does being a small business impact a bride's experience with you? A lot of options are available online for brides nowadays and um, that experience just doesn't quite give a bride what she needs during this process. I mean, a bride's love story is so unique to her, right? It's so important that her love story is nurtured and and that during that process she feels um, like she's creating memories to last a lifetime. And so when you shop small, you support a dream, you support people who come to work every day to work hard for you. We plan all week for a bride's arrival, right? From reading her questionnaire and getting to know her, to the dresses we pick out, to the smell in the store. Everything is chosen for her experience. The smell in the store, that is like <laughs> amazing attention to detail. I have to point it's this so out. It's so important to and me. And that's something that you can't get online, no, right? You, you can't get that personalized experience like you're giving your and, customers. And these are memories to last her a lifetime. You know, she's going to remember this forever. She's going to remember the stylist she worked with. She's going to remember that smell. She's going to remember the feeling we gave her. Jessica, dress buying, I mean, that really becomes a life cycle. Why is that? I think because we're able to see a bride when she comes in and her vision for what she has for her big day, we're able to take that vision, make it come to life. Mm -hmm. And then we're also able to follow them through now with social media and we can see their wedding on their big day and see how their vision actually turned out and it's just the icing on top of the cake. Social media is like the dream photo album, right? Yeah. That probably all the brides years and years ago wish they had and yeah. now we luckily all have. I want to thank you Natalie and Jessica for being here with us today and sharing such valuable details around the dress shopping process and experience. So anyone in Arizona who is looking for a wedding dress needs to head to Wedding Bells to find the gown of of your dreams. Stay tuned and stay with us as we join Madeline Gardner for some bridal styling tips. Our next styling tip is talking all about accessorizing because accessorizing with fun jewelry and shoes and so much more is the easiest way to take up your wedding look up a notch. Madeline, tell us accessorizing is so easy. Why is this something that women should consider when getting ready to wear their wedding dress? Well, I think it finishes the look and it really should be on theme with your wedding. So if your wedding's on a beach, maybe you want to wear a great sandal and some fresh flowers in your hair or something unique, that a ribbon that ties into the color of your bridesmaids, something fun. And it's a way to personalize it as well. But also you can elevate your dress look or you can bring it to a very casual, beachy, garden feeling, whatever makes you happy. Completely, and jewelry is so fun to play with. We have these beautiful floral earrings on our model here right now that just kind of give it this, you know, very garden kind of party lip feel. It ties back into the florals that are on, you know, the train. This is so fun, but Madeline, there are other things that you can do with jewelry. You have this amazing necklace Absolutely. in your hand. Show our viewers what it looks like when you just kind of place this around her neck. It really just adds some really beautiful glamour. You kind of feel like a celebrity, you feel like a star, adding all that glitz and glam. It looks so chic. And we even have matching earrings. So if she wasn't wearing her little floral earrings right here, we could switch it up to the pearls and you're getting pearls truly from the top exactly. to the bottom. Exactly, it changes the entire look of the dress. It does. This is a detachable overskirt. So if we take this off. I'll hold, hold the necklace. That, yep. We take this off and you're left with the super chic crepe dress. Suddenly she's ready for a New York wedding on the steps at the Met. She really so is. It changes the whole look. I absolutely love that and this is so fun. Look at how different this one dress can look with the switch of an earring, an addition of a necklace, removing the train. An overskirt, wearing a beautiful wrap, a feather boa, whatever makes you happy. I know we have more styling tips for all of you at home so make sure to stay tuned.